Most people will agree that New York City is an amazing place. It seems like the center of the universe and has no lack of culture or art. You can hear five different languages walking down the street. I find it to have everything that is wonderful and everything that is horrible all in one place. It's not perfect. One of my best friends was punched in the face by a guy on a 10 a.m. commuter train. While I lived in New York City, I worked for a nonprofit art museum and did some acting. I made some great friends and went to some outrageous parties. I also had bed bugs twice. I dated a few local East Coasters and those relationships all ended badly. I miss the amazing food, but definitely don't miss the men or the credit card debt. Towards the end of my stay there, I started dating an old flame long distance. He had just bought a house in his hometown of 8,000 people, Jefferson, Wisconsin. He invited me to live with him and take some time off work to decide what I'd like to do for a living. After the fifth or sixth invitation and my second bout with New York's finest bed bugs, I started packing my bags to head for the quietude of small town Wisconsin life. Pretty soon we were engaged and then we got married. Jefferson is way different than New York. I can walk to the bank and I see a lot of stars at night. Our house is adorable and it's across the street from a Frank Lloyd Wright. For the other things, I try to use a sense of humor and investigation. For example, why are there so many tanning bed coffee shop combos in southeastern Wisconsin? I'm still not sure. Everything closes by 2 p.m. on Sundays, except McDonald's and Walmart. Our street is incredibly quiet and it's blissful at night after 9 p.m. I had to sleep with earplugs in in Brooklyn because my downstairs neighbor and his woman would get in ridiculous fights at 4 a.m. I love healthy eating and the local food movement, so I work at a nearby organic farm and I'm paid in vegetables. I love it. I still miss the food in New York City, but if I don't want deep fried thing, pizza, or cheeseburger, I find I have to cook a lot more than I used to. I love my messy herb garden, my rescued cat, none of which I could have had in a cramped shared apartment in Brooklyn. Driving is my least favorite activity and for however long we stay in Jefferson, I plan to bike ride, walk, and snowshoe as much as possible. I miss riding the subway, but it's great to be able to hop on a bike and be on a tree-lined country road in five minutes. And in 15 minutes, check out a local site such as the Miniature Horses on Coots Road.